I think the relationship between joy and gratitude was one of the most important things I found, I found in the research. Um, I wasn't expecting it, um, but what I found, you know, 12 years of research, um, 11,000 pieces of data, I, ha I did not interview in all that time a person who would describe themselves as joyful or describe their lives as joyous who did not actively practice gratitude. Um, and for me, it was very counterintuitive because I kind of went into the research thinking that the relationship between joy and gratitude was, if you're joyful, then you should be grateful. But it wasn't that way at all. It was really that practicing gratitude invites joy into our lives. And when I say practice, I think this is, this is the part that really changed my life. It changed my family and the way we live every day. When I say practice gratitude, I don't mean kind of like the attitude of gratitude or feeling grateful. I mean practicing gratitude. These folks shared in common a tangible gratitude practice. They either kept gratitude journals. Um, some of them did interesting things like at 1, 2, 3, 4, like at 12, 34 every day. They said something out loud that they were grateful for. They, um, one of the things that we do, like we say grace at dinner. And so now after grace, we go around and everyone in my family says something they're grateful for. I mean, and what's interesting is when we first started, I have um, a first grader, a first grade son, Charlie, and eighth grade daughter, Alan. And at first I thought, and we've been doing it for a couple of years now, like they're going to like, oh God, mom. And if there was a little like, this is, you know, are you experimenting on us? There was a little bit of that. But now what's interesting, even after we did it for like a couple of weeks, that on those crazy busy nights where we're trying to like get to soccer and piano and homework and Steve and I are just like, we say, we say a quick prayer and we start eating and my kids are like, whoa, what are you grateful for? Mm -hmm. And it's been extraordinary because not only absolutely does it invite more joy into our house, um, it also is such a soulful window into what's going on in my kids' lives. You know, so there are some days where my eighth grader will be like, I'm joyful that there's a huge thick wall between my room and my brother's room. You know, something just very, you know, honest. But there are other days she'll say, you know, she had a friend whose mother recently died. Um, and she said, you know, for a month she would say, I'm just so grateful that y'all are healthy right now. You know, and so not only did it make us all more aware of what we had and more willing to slow down and really be thankful for the joyful moments we had, but it let me know where she was emotionally in her life. You know, and my son is, is always, you know, I'm grateful for bugs, I'm grateful for frogs, but sometimes he'll say, you know, I'm grateful that you picked me up early, or, you know, I'm grateful that I finally understand adjectives, <laughs> you know? So it's, there's a great quote um, that says, it's not, grat it's not joy that makes us grateful, it's gratitude that makes us joyful. And, um, it's by a Jesuit brother, a Jesuit priest, and I guess I was just amazed to find that bubble up so strongly in the research. It's life-changing.